Okay, what's up guys? Here we are again, another adventure. I'm Urbex Dave, or Freetography. Dave, whatever you want to call me, that's who I am. Take a look behind me here. Really big, cool room, lots of peeling paint. Today's adventure, we are exploring a large abandoned candy factory that has been abandoned and has been here for a really, really long time. I explored this place when I first started in 2012. Came back again with Rhythm Rider in 2013. And uh, place to me is kind of like a rite of passage. If you're an explorer in the Ontario area of Canada, then this place is like one of the first large explorers that local explorers will, will experience. You know, you can, you can go to lots of houses, there's a couple other big places, but this is probably one of the bigger places for new and uh, rookie explorers to come in and try, their, try to uh, take a little bit of a risk, a little bit of a challenge. In terms of photography, it's, it's a challenge because it's dark, you got a lot of harsh light, but uh, it's a great place to shoot, and this is one of the mo most important rooms to see. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, check this place out, Right now, we're gonna cue the music, we're gonna cue the intro, we're gonna come right back, we're gonna check it out. Peace. Okay guys, so we are in an abandoned candy factory, a very popular spot, well known amongst, amongst the many local explorers. And uh, the thing with this place is, I've only been here twice. And the second time I was here, I did manage to run into some squatters. And from what I'm told, there's a lot of people that do drugs here in this location. So it's uh, not the safest place in the world to be at by yourself, but I mean, I'm prepared for whatever might happen. And uh, I'm on high alert, so that's okay. But uh, place is huge and uh, lots of graffiti, lots to see and I believe they might be either demolishing it or getting ready to use it for something else but there's obviously a little bit of difference here from the last time I was here. A lot more damage, a lot more graffiti and there is some uh, construction signs outside so it does look like they are doing something. So we'll take a walk through, turn my light on here, it's going to get dark. And uh, yeah, we'll keep walking around and we'll see what we find. It's a pl classic spot. It's one of those spots that anyone who's an explorer in the area in Ontario kind of has to do this one as a bit of a rite of, rite of passage. So interesting place. Lots of people have been here. A lot of weird noises in here too. So, all right, we'll make our way around. The other problem I'm finding is that it's really windy outside. And when it's windy outside, it makes everything sound like those things moving inside or there's somebody here. So a little bit on edge, but that's okay. So this is one of the coolest rooms in the building. As you can hear, it's very loud. Okay guys, so where we are right now is in one of the really more interesting rooms in the factory. And this is where we've got these four huge uh, storm towers, I guess you might call them. And then on the floor, you've just got a pot of sugar or flour. Not really sure if it's sugar or flour. It looks like flour to me. But uh, yeah, this room's really cool. Take a look up. We've got these two, four. There's a lot of noise going on outside from all the wind. We've got these four huge tanks that store sugar. And then here you've got your big old pile of sugar or flour. So maybe we'll take a walk up there, 
and I'll show you what it looks like. I got, I got sugar all over my shoes, as you can see. So let's go here. Popular picture to take is to stand right here, point your camera straight up, and get a picture like that. So. Okay, let's go on over here, and we'll take a walk up. Loud in here. It's a good room though, because it's got a lot of light. You got all these openings for the windows. So we're gonna take a walk up, and this is where we'll get started. Please. Okay, here we go. That's where we just came from. Take a look inside the hopper. Around. Again. Let's take a look on the roof here. Get this down. Again, lights up. And here we go. Up and higher. Okay, here we are, very top. Swim around here, take a look down. Here you go. Photography's out of breath. All right. All right, I'm gonna hit pause here. Take some pictures, be back in a bit. Okay guys, we're gonna move along now out of the uh, tank room and out of the sugar room. Just take another look around here. Okay, here we go, sugar tank. Get on out of here, make our way around. So there was a fire in here a few years, a couple years ago maybe, right here in this part of the building. Lots of damage in here, as you can see. Lots of damage. All right, moving on. It's not too safe in this room. The ceiling is very weak, and you can see that the ceiling is actually buckling on itself up there. You can see the fire damage, and you can see the, the bending of the roof. So we don't want to spend too much time in here. It's a big place though, that's for sure. This is where I came in, right here, and we'll move our way over here. OK, 
Okay, so... Okay, so here's the ovens. And we are gonna turn ourselves back around. And we're gonna go over here to the uh, glass block windows and boxes section of the factory. Take a look here at some of this paint peel on the wall. This place has uh, definitely seen better days. Now, the first time I came here, it was in this section here where I found uh, some needles with some blood. Somebody been shooting up. So I'm just hoping that nobody's shooting up now. here some more needles take a look around all the way around here all right all right we'll take some pictures and I will move along and uh find the next interesting section to film. Okay, here we go again. We're gonna move around. We're gonna make our way this way, past some graffiti here on the wall. This place has so much graffiti and so much peeling paint. We're gonna move along and find something else. Get out of this section and find something else we can see. A set of stairs over here. because there's not much to say about where I am right now. It's not the most interesting place in the world, but we'll just keep moving on. Set of stairs right there. I'll take those up in a minute. This room's pretty bright.
Let's head on upstairs. If I'm correct, then where we're going now is to the coolest room in the building, which is the Peely room. It's basically a room with really colorful peeling paint. It's upstairs a couple of levels, I think. I think there's anything in this level. Take a look. Pretty sure this level's just empty. It smells funny. All right, let's keep going up. Sorry if this one isn't really exciting, guys. We're just kind of walking around, looking at stuff. Ah, oh, here it is. Now you're gonna see the most interesting room in the whole place. The Peely room. There you go. Pretty cool because you got the orange, you got blue, lots of peeling paint everywhere. I think somebody said that this used to be the cafeteria. So we'll spin around here, get a nice view of the room. I'll definitely be taking a few shots in here. The light's pretty harsh coming out of the windows, but maybe I can fix that up. There you go. So here you go guys, this is the peeling paint room, the cafeteria with all the paint peeling and the pillars. And this is probably one of the more interesting rooms in the, in the joint. So we're gonna turn this off, I'm gonna take some pictures and we'll come back and we'll do it again. See you soon. Okay guys, let's get back to it. We're gonna walk around and let's go see what else we can find. You got your elevator shaft. Very dangerous. Very dangerous down there, guys. Don't fall. So I'm pretty sure that this building, they really, I know they used to make candy here. That's the name, the candy factory. They probably also used to make cookies and other stuff like that. Definitely know they made candy. And in some rooms you can actually still smell it. It's pretty cool. Some graffiti on the wall there. Take a spin around and take a look. This looks to me like it might go out under the roof. Nope, this is just a... Uh, Sucking the windows here. Here you go. Take a look outside. There you go. Let's see outside there. Cool, cool. On we go.
What do you guys think so far? You like this video? You guys liking this place? Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this place. I'd like to know. I know what I think. But that doesn't matter. I want to know what you guys think. That there goes up to the roof. I don't really feel like going to the roof. But uh, there you go. You can have a look there. Let's take these stairs down. Let's see where it takes us. Take a little bit of adventure instead of taking the way we came up. How do you like that? There we go. This room's a little bit brighter. There you go. Let's see what we got over here. Looks like a lab. Definitely some kind of a lab where they do some testing, maybe flavor sampling. Who knows? Who cares, really? I don't care. That's that. Let's keep going. I like this room. It's like the other peeling paint room, it's just white. Also reminds me of a factory in Detroit that I've been to. Same idea, pillars, big windows, and lots of peeling paint. All right, I'm pretty sure you've got enough of this room, so I'm gonna take a break shoot some pictures, and we'll head back down to another level. See you in a bit. Okay guys, let's move along. We've been here for a long time. We haven't really seen much. Not my fault. But hey, who wants to see my stupid face? Let's turn around and see what this place looks like. Here we go. folks. It's getting dark over there. Where I came in from? Yeah. All right. Take the stairs down. Look at all the peeling paint. Oh boy. What do we got here? I don't know if this is the main floor or the second floor. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, I was already here. That's the main entrance right there. So let's go back down this way. As you can hear, the floors are very crunchy in here. Very crunchy floors. This is the main doorway, actually, right here. Yes. It's dark in here. Turn this up so you guys can see. All right, that's what I can do. There you go. All right, there's your main entrance. Lots of peeling paint. And we'll go this way. Let's go down here. Let's see what goes on down here. This is pretty cool. Wow. 
And there you go. Let's check this out. Okay, time to go take some pictures. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, take a quick walk, look down in the basement. There's nothing to see in the basement, so we're going to go back up to the lobby, and we're going to make our way back up. And I think I'm going to try and make my way back to the exit and wrap this video up. Let's take another look here at the main lobby. Very cool. Lots of colors. Good light. Cool stairs. Move on up. And we'll do another walk around until we find the way I came in. Put my light on here so we can see. There we go. Watch while I'm stepping here. Got a lot of glass on the floor. I think I know where we are. All right. This is our way out. I'm just going to uh, jump out this window here and uh, we'll wrap up. See you back in a minute. Okay guys, that's been it. This has been the abandoned candy factory. Pretty large place. You can see behind me, you got one, two, three, four stories. You got a basement level. Um, pretty old spot. Hope you guys liked it. This is my third visit. I came in 2012. I came in 2013. And I haven't been back since 2013. So same old place. Same stuff, lots of uh, paint peelies, lots of decay, lots of damage and destruction. Hope you guys have liked it. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this place. You want more industrial spots? Do you like my houses? What do you guys want to see more of? If you guys tell me what you want to see more of, maybe I'll do more of that. Maybe I won't. I'll do whatever I want anyways. But anyways, I'm by myself today. No Carlo, no Rhythm Rider. That's okay. Their links are down below. As always, drop me a comment, like my video, make sure you subscribe, check out all my social media channels, and always come back for more photography adventures. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I always appreciate it. Peace.